What's up guys, I fix it in your face. Don't forget, I have a Facebook uh, that you guys can join if you have questions about anything in the video or anything in regards to anything, motorcycle, scooter, fix it stuff. Join my Facebook, it's an easy way to get in contact with me and get you help you need. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, all that good stuff, man. Um, I make these videos for you guys, I don't make them for me. You can help me by dropping a subscription, Join the Facebook. I'm telling you, man. Join the Facebook. You'll, you'll, if, if you're trying to get in contact with me, it's the easiest way to do it. Okay? Don't forget, everything you need is in the description below of the video. Let's get started. What's up, guys? Sorry, it's a little windy today. I don't always fix bikes. I fix my own truck, too, all the time. Constantly, whenever I fix anything, I always normally do a video. So, unfortunately, my uh, this truck's from 2002. It's pretty old. You know, it's basically 21 years old. Um, runs great. It's been very reliable so far. So, been very happy with this truck, um, especially over the past six or seven months. It's been great. You know. Uh, but anyways, the um, I live in Florida. Though it's sunny here a lot, it also uh, we're in our rainy season. And unfortunately, I was driving the other day, and my windshield wiper motors just quit working. I realized it was the motor I was having the issue. So. Went ahead and ordered a whole new motor assembly. I've never changed one before. This will be new to me, but I think it'll be fun to kind of do this together. Looks pretty self-explanatory. So <clears throat> I'm going to come in here. Actually, you know what? Let me lock this truck in gear so it doesn't keep rolling. Stick shift, baby. I love it. All right. <clears throat> And I had to wait until it cooled off a little bit before I did any of this stuff because the engine was pretty hot. I just got back from a trip and I wanted to do this while the engine wasn't hot. So I think I could pretty much get to everything fairly easily. Um, the only pain in the butt one looks like it's going to be right here. So these are bolts. Looks like a size 10. I'm super lazy, so I'm going to do it with my uh, 3 8 driver ratchet, electric from Ryobi, because once again, I work on enough stuff that I don't want to sit here and just turn wrenches all day. I'd rather simplify my life slightly if I can. It really speeds up these jobs. So we're going to crack it loose here. Well, it might help to actually do this the right direction, huh? Let's try that again. Alright guys, so that takes care of that. Now we gotta remove the wiper blades from the top and pull those off or I suppose I could just pop them up. Nah, we'll pull the blades. I'll just yank the blades off. I think that'll be the easiest way to do this. And uh, then I can remove that plastic liner all the way across and then we'll have access to the back side of the motor. So I gotta pull out some screws. I gotta close the hood. And because uh, we gotta pull, we have to pull that grate out. It has to come out to do this. So, give me one sec. All right, guys. Uh, so it doesn't look like I have to take this one off. However, I do have to take the center one off um, to get that piece all the way across there. So, I gotta work on popping this up here, getting this end cap up if I can. Kind of a pain in the butt to get these up. So now that that's up, you can just undo that bolt. So, and then we're gonna take all this off. Easily, we're just gonna take the plastic runner all the way off, all the way down. I should have access to it all the way across. 
I'll just pull these out of the way a little bit. I should have access. So. Didn't really take that whole angle with it. Why? There we go. Jeez. Huh. What fun that was. Okay. So behind here, there's a little ball. I'm gonna show it to you and try to figure out the best way to get it off. Looks like it just pops off with some pressure. It's just gonna be a real annoyance. So. I have to get a screwdriver back there and see if we can pop it off together. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not. I'm gonna try to put you in there. It's not really the easiest thing to do here. I'll try to show this to you guys the best I can, but whatever. My big screwdriver, there it is. So I think I gotta pop this uh, L bracket right off of here. And then pop it on the new new motor. There we go. Now this motor should just come right off there now. It's got to come out. Which way has it got to come out? This way. Okay. Come out of there. There we go. Alright. There you go. That bullshit. Now, ah. let's uh, pop the new one in there. So it's going the right way. Slide this sucker down in here again. There we go. There we go. Okay, Let's see if we can pop that new that bar on there. This is where the fun's gonna come in. It's probably gonna be easier to pop it on once I get it in place, so that's what we're gonna do. I hope this is easier for you guys than it is for me. I really do. I hope your truck's in a little better shape. What's up, bro? Give me one sec, man. Stop this recording here. Oh my goodness, getting that bottom bolt in was just an absolute blast. So let me tell you, now that I've got this thing tight, top, bottom, all the way around, I'm going to try to maneuver this windshield wiper. i got to get it lower, so I'm going to have to lower the down to here. Let's see if I can bring it in a little closer. There we go, we're almost there. Oh, so close. Oh gosh, I'm gonna really have to set this on my head to do this. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. There it is. Right. Now, let's see if I can get that to stay there, like so. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see if we can push that down. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so, let me get a piece of wood here. I think that's gonna reality be the easiest way to do this, is to get a piece of wood behind it. 
Okay, let's see if I can get this to work. So put that there, put that in between it. This should allow me to apply some pressure on it. There it is. Okay, beautiful. Now let's put all that bull crap back on there. almost everything on this truck and she's still fighting it. There we go. And that's how you do it folks. Fun stuff. Don't want to do it again. Toodles. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive so go easy on the throttle okay? Alright. <laughs>